Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today on this Veterans Day, uh, where we have an opportunity to recognize our veterans for their service. Will everyone please rise for the presentation of the colors? I'd like to invite Father Loeffler up for our invocation. Today, November 11th, is Veterans Day. We know that. But in the church's calendar, we also commemorate a veteran, St. Martin of Tours. St. Martin was born in the year 330, died in the year 397, was a Roman soldier. And while on a campaign, he was approached by a poor man on a very bitter cold day for alms. And Martin had nothing to give him, so he took his sword, cut his military cloak in half, and gave, gave it to the poor man. That night he had a dream, and he had, in the dream, Christ spoke to him. And Christ was sitting there wearing his cope, wearing his cape, and said, a soldier named Martin gave me this. In his time as a veteran, St. Martin went on to become the Bishop of Tours in France. And so many of our veterans here today, after their military service and the time that they've been veterans, have added so much to our lives by their commitment, by their contrib continued contributions to our, to our communities, and we give pr praise and thanks to God for them this day. Let us pray. O oh, judge of the nations, we remember before you with grateful hearts the men and women of our country who in the day of decision ventured much for the liberties we now enjoy. Grant that we may not rest until all the people of this land share the benefits of true freedom and gladly accept its disciplines. This we ask for the honor and glory of thy most holy name. Amen. Thank you, Father. We'll have the Nash, national van, na, sorry, excuse me, the national anthem played by Jason Campaverdi from Hackensack High School Band. Thank you very much. Now the, the I'd like to ask the members of the Boy Scouts to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Face the flag, attention, salute. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much. Please be seated if you have a seat, I guess. Uh, at this point, I'd like to invite Commander Vincent Detoli, uh, American Legion Post 55, my commander here, to uh, say a few words.
Thank you, Mike Melfi, for for your work in uh, making this ceremony possible. I'm the commander of the American Legion, post 55. Currently, we have 29 members. If there are any veterans here, uh, I welcome them to join the post. I want to thank everyone uh, for taking time out to honor the veterans today. And uh, I know in these times, it's uh, uh, it's not easy to uh, have an as uh, assemblage, but, but uh, I'm I'm quite pleased with the turnout today of all various groups, city council members, uh, police department, fire department, uh, uh, veterans, boy scouts, and uh, regular Hackensack citizens who uh, made the effort to be here to honor uh, veterans on Veterans Day. Thank you. I'd like to take a moment to introduce some uh, dignitaries that we have here today, uh, beginning with uh, Assemblyman Gordon Johnson. Gordon. <laughs> Bergen County Commissioner Chairwoman Mary Amoroso. As well as Bergen County Commissioner Jermaine Ortiz. I'd like to introduce our city of Hackensack uh, Mayor and Council, Mayor John LeBros, <laughs> Deputy Mayor Kathy Canestrino, <laughs> Deputy Mayor David Sims, <laughs> Councilman Leo Battaglia, <laughs> Councilwoman Stephanie Von Ruddenberg. <laughs> I'd also like to introduce our City Manager, Ted Ehrenberg as well as our officer in charge, Captain Pete Basiglio, Fire Chief Tom Freeman, and our superintendent of the DPW, Joe Anglima, who uh, him and his team make this all uh, happen for us. I'd also like to introduce from the Hackensack Public Schools, uh, Mr. Montesano, Mr. King, Ms. Lozano, and of course, Mrs. Mack, who helps us every year with uh, someone to play taps and the uh, national anthem for us, and I appreciate your continued support of this. Uh, I also have a few former mayors here today. Former Mayor Jack Ziza. Uh, former Mayor Marlon Towns. We have uh, former Councilman Chuck McCullough, as well as former Councilman Jason So. And of course, there's uh, one veteran uh, I'd specifically like to recognize, especially as uh, we recognize the, the 75th year of the end of World War II, a veteran that served honorably in World War II and was uh, there at the uh, D-Day invasion and received a silver star for his service there. I'd like to introduce a very important veteran to our city and to me as well, Mr. Lee D'Arminio. It wasn't for Lee and his and his fellow soldiers there that day. The result of this could have been very different. So thank you, Lee, for your contribution to our country and to our city. At this point, I'd like to ask Mayor LeBrus to come up and say a few words on behalf of the city of Hackensack. Sorry, I also like to introduce Superintendent of Schools, uh, Robert Sanchez. I'm sorry. Good morning, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, honored guests, elected officials, members of the clergy, and a special good morning to all of our veterans. Happy Veterans Day. And thank you for your service. This morning, we gather here on the green to honor all those who serve and have served in the armed forces of the United States of America. Before I go on, I want to give a thanks to Mike Melfi, who heads up our Veterans Affairs for Hackensack. He's done a great job through the years, and uh, we appreciate everything you do. So I was thinking how hard it must be for our veterans who are deployed overseas right now. We're dealing with this pandemic in a foreign land. 
They do this knowing that while they are protecting us, their families and loved ones back here at home are in harm's way right here from the very same pandemic. And I'm sure this causes much concern and stress amongst our men and women overseas, as well as those, as well as those who are at home. I just mentioned the word stress, which brings to me one of today's biggest problems facing our vets when they've returned home. PTSD, or post-traumatic stress disorder, is one of the biggest causes of veteran hospitalizations and suicides. In years past, I've mentioned how we lose over 20 vets a day to suicide, and that still continues to this day. And many of these are due to PTSD. And unfortunately, many of our vets go untreated for this disease and suffer tremendously from it. The late comedian George Carlin did a skit on this very subject. And not to make joke or light of this subject, he speaks how we as Americans have changed the name of this combat condition through the years in different conflicts. He speaks about how a, sur a soldier's nervous system has been stressed to its peak and is about to snap. In the First World War, this condition was called shell shock. Everybody, the old timers remember shell shock, right? I remember as a kid being called shell shock. Two words, it was very direct and to the point, and it hits home. He goes on to the Second World War and talks about how the very same combat condition was now changed to battle fatigue. We now have gone from two syllables to four, it seems a little softer and not as brutally honest as shell shock. It's now been softened and quite honestly does not seem as nasty. He goes on to the war in Korea and the very same combat condition is now called operational exhaustion. We have moved to eight syllables and they have seemed to sterilize the total description of the condition. The term now has no real meaning of what the condition really is. So we go on to Vietnam and we move to post-traumatic stress disorder. The pain is now completely buried under jargon. Carlin closes with, had we left it as shell shock all these years, he bets a lot of, especially our Vietnam vets, would have gotten the help that they so desperately needed. And the point is our society has a habit of creating euphemisms to soften the meaning or sound of our words. And while this may make something sound less serious, it certainly does not change the seriousness of the condition itself. So what we have done is to make it easier on us, while those who have it, while downplaying the condition to those who have it. We need to make it harder on us, not our vets. The softening of the language describing the condition does our vets no favors and they deserve better. In closing, I would like to thank all of our veterans here today and those who came to pay homage to all our vets. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of the day and thank you for coming out today to honor our veterans. God bless America. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. I would now like to invite uh, Bergen County Commissioner Mary Amoroso up to say a few words. And Commissioner Jermaine Ortiz, I'm sorry. Good morning, everybody. Hackensack and its citizens have been involved in our war efforts since the American Revolution. General Washington was here, headquartered right around this green, which was the center of community life in Hackensack in the 1770s. So George Washington was here in November of 1776 while he was surveying roads and bridges uh, making his way, he was going to make his way up Fort Lee Road at some point. Um, we are also so pleased to have our veteran Lee D'Arminio with us. Wonderful story, wonderful history, thank you so much. The, the sacrifices by our veterans and what they experienced in war and probably don't talk much about has made it possible for us to exercise our right to vote, which we did in record, record numbers in the past couple of weeks, um, despite the pandemic. We are honored by your service and awed by your sacrifice. We will never forget you. God bless America. Good morning. Thank you, Hackensack, for this beautiful ceremony. 
and thank you for everyone coming out. I just want to just briefly say thank you so much to our veterans for all your sacrifices and for all the men and women that are still serving and who have served and for all the sacrifices of their families. We should be thanking them every day, not just today, but every day. So God bless all our veterans and God bless America. Thank you so much. And we have a, a couple of commendations uh, for American Legion Post 55 and the Hackensack Rotary Club. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'd like to invite our Assemblyman Gordon Johnson up also to say a few words. Good morning, everyone. And thank you uh, for allowing me to say a few words today as a legislator and also as a fellow veteran. We also have to remember, not these men and women who leave their homes and communities to serve this country and farm places where they never heard of, but also we have to remember their families. The ones that are back here, the ones that are left behind to run the households to keep the cities and boroughs and neighborhoods running while these men and women who are away in these far off lands are protecting our interests. So it is right and just that we take at least one day to recognize and thank the veterans of our country. And I, I commit to you as a state legislator and a veteran that while I serve in the state assembly and in this legislature, I'll do all that I can to ensure that our veterans get the benefits that they so well deserve. And one thing we're dis discussing now is helping them transition from the battlefield back to their neighborhoods. Through educational programs, medical assistance, and whatever else their needs may be to ensure that they have a successful transition back into, into our society. So thank you for allowing me to say a few words today. I'm always with you. This legislature will always be with you. And God bless the veterans, and God bless this country. Thank you. Thank you very much, Assemblyman. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the elected officials coming out today and uh, making some uh, words for our veterans. Unfortunately, due to the COVID situation, we have a, a modified wreath presentation. So we're, we won't actually be presenting the wreaths this year, but I'd like to recognize all the organizations that have supplied a wreath today for our ceremony beginning with the city of Hackensack, Hackensack American Legion Post 55, the Hackensack Fire Department, Hackensack Police Department, Hackensack PBA Local Number 9, Hackensack Public Schools, Hackensack Department of Public Works, Hackensack HCOPS Program, Hackensack Meridian Healthcare, as well as Hackensack University Medical Center, the Bergen County Sheriff's Department, Majestic, Majestic Lodge 153, Majestic Temple 215, BPO Elk 658, the Hackensack Trost Club, the Hackensack Rotary Club, Hackensack Unico, Hackensack Chamber of Commerce, Hackensack Main Street Business Alliance, Legislative District 37 representatives, and a new wreath for this year, Hackensack Condo and Co-op Board. I'd like to thank all of you for, for donating a wreath and hoping that at our Memorial Day ceremony, we can go back to the normal process and uh, be able to present those wreaths again. At this point, will everyone please rise for also a modified rifle salute. for the playing of taps.
I'd like to invite Father Hoffler back up for our benediction, please. Unto God's gracious mercy, we commit you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Again, I'd like to thank the city of Hackensack for supporting us this year and allowing us to have a ceremony to recognize our veterans. I'd like to recognize the Hackensack DPW as well for all they do to make this ceremony possible. Our Hackensack Police Honor Guard as well uh, and all the organizations that have donated a wreath. I'd like to also thank Stephanie Padone for her continued support of the veterans and providing the, the flowers, in this case, the uh, ribbons this year. And I also want to recognize someone in the back, uh, Bob Mealy, who's been very instrumental in creating a recognition of veterans from the high school and a board there. So thank him as well for his efforts. Please remain standing for the retirement of colors.
Our fathers had to fight for our country. Our fathers had to die to keep it free. So let's fight for our country. Let's fight for our freedom. Let's fight to keep America free. This land and the ocean, sky, air, pure and clean. So let's fight for our country to rise by our people. Let's keep America clean. Let's stand proud and show. Let's fight, keep America. 